Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of estimation and compatible numbers. This is standard 4.4G in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 16 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here showing the number of miles a family is going to travel. Take a look at that, though. What is the best estimate of the combined? All right, so that's going to mean I need to add the number of miles his family will travel next summer. Well, uh, let's, let's do a few things, because when we see estimate, we just need to around. We don't need the actual, uh, but they don't necessarily tell us how to round. So, all right. Let's go ahead and just see what the actual sum is going to be. 129, 181, 110, 288, 78. We can add all that up. Let's just see what that's going to be. Because I want to see how close each of our estimates are going to be. So we're looking for 10s here. So that's going to be 10. That's the only 10 I can find. It's going to be 19, right? And then 19 and 8 is going to be 27. So that's going to be 10, 20, and then I've got two eights of 16, so that's going to be 36. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 867 is my actual. So what if I round to the tens? Right, that's going to get us a little bit closer to the tens place. So we're going to take my 81, and I think if I were to actually do this, I'd probably round to the tens just because I've got some that go, I'd go to the hundreds, but I've got these two that don't even go to the hundreds, right? So 81, right, you're going to round to the tens, that's going to round to 80. You're going to get 129. And what is that going to round to? Well, I'm going to round to that 9 is going to make the 2 uh, go up, so it's going to be 130. We've got 181, just like the, the 81, right? I'm going to go to the tens place. That 1 is not going to change that 8, so it's going to be 180. 110 is, look, it's not changing. It's just 110. It's already rounded to the tens place. 288. Okay, so let's see that 80 is going to change that 8 up, so it's going to be 290. And then we got 78. That's close to 80. All right, so I can add this, right? And I, I saved myself in the ones place, but I still got to do a whole bunch of, you know, carrying, carrying and all that in the tens place. So let me see, right? So I've got eight, eight, eight. I was just kind of trying to find good patterns. That's three eights, it's 24. If I get a nine and a one, that's a tens, that's 34, that's 37. Let me carry that three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So look at the difference here. 867 to 870. Now, if I wanted to make this a lot easier, I could round to hundreds. Might not be as accurate. Now watch what happens to my 81, right? So here's the hundreds place. So if I'm looking at that, right? That 8 is going to, let's see if I can get rid of that real quick. There we go. That 8 is going to change that up because it's 5 or more. So that's going to be 100. So that it looks a little strange, but it's going to work. 129, that 2 is not changing anything, 100. 181, that 8 is going to make that go up to 200. We're just looking for 5 or more. It changes it. 110, that 1, nope, it's closer to 100. 288, definitely changing that up to 300. 78 is one of those strange ones. you got to look at the blank spot. 7 is making a change. 100. And look at this. That's a lot easier. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that actually is the best answer. G, 900.